All right, so we are back here with Spider-Man 2, and I gotta tell you guys right now that I feel like once I complete this game, which is uh, honestly gonna be really soon since I feel like we're right around the corner, I'm gonna have like some withdrawals because uh, this game really has me on a chokehold. You know, like I've really been enjoying this game so far, and uh, I feel like enjoying is an understatement. You know, like this game is honestly crazy good. You know, like they surprise you at every freaking corner, even this far into the game, like you know we just recently got the anti-venom suit last episode absolutely insane you guys should definitely go check it out but uh, anyways enough of me talking let's get right into it norman what are you doing Please don't. What's he gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please. Save my boy. Jeez. Spider-Man, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. Yeah, this is insane, man. Holy crap. Oh, wow, dude. Hold on, can I land on one of these things? Oh, you can. Yo, this is actually freaking crazy. Hold on. Uh, what's the next mission? This one was pretty short. I think I'm gonna continue it. Finally free. Upper East Side. Um. 
Oh, you can see it on the minimap too, like all the uh, uh, symbiote tendrils. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, being right here, almost at the center of the entire city, you can really see the scope of uh, the effect that Venom has caused on the city itself. Like, this is this is really freaking crazy. It's insane. It really is. Look at that Avengers Tower. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're never there, so <laughs> what's the point, right? Um, yeah, I was going to say, I really like how in this game they're trying to make you sympathize with uh, Norman. You know, like, he loves his son. He's a, he's a family man. But... We all know deep down he's not a good guy. He really isn't, you know? He created Devil's Breath. He knew the risks. And that thing ended up causing a lot of people to die in the first game, right? And he did it all for his son. So although he loves his son a lot, he's the type of person who would do anything and give anything, including others' lives, to get what he wants. And I feel like since now we know that Harry has to die in order for, you know, the symbiotes to leave to, to save the city, essentially, that might actually wall. trigger him to, like, bring out, like, his true nature. Like, like what we saw a glimpse of in the first game, you know, like that sadistic, you know, almost like just very evil man, you know. Oh, so that's that's going to be really freaking interesting. And I think. I assume there's going to be a third game. I think that's what's going to cause the uh, the transformation into the Green Goblin, you know? Oh, jeez, man. Wait, I just thought about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I got to hold on. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I saw a red symbiote around here somewhere. Well, oh, it's gone, but... Unless I was, uh, seeing wrong. But I'm pretty sure I saw a red symbiote that kind of looked like Carnage. It's okay. They're gone. Thank you, Spider-Man. Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming. They're definitely not gone. Hold on. Can I swing from one of these tendril things? No? Nope. This really reminds me like in the last final portion of the game for the first game. Where like all the prisoners from the raft just escaped and this entire city is like just destroyed garbage everywhere. Th this is kind of like that. I, l I like when they do that, when they completely change the map for the final portion of the game. The people in that bus won't last much longer. Hey, Uglies, how about picking on me? Oh, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Look at this guy. Okay, I guess he uses his tongue as an attack. All right. Come on, I want to try to bring all them a little closer, a little closer. There we go. is not safe if you don't have a place to go beast is open to anyone maybe you're not so bad after all thank you miles we have to talk no kidding there are nests popping up everywhere sending you coordinates now got it watch yourself out there man it's honestly is... insane there's still people out there that think spider-man is not a good guy when he saved the city multiple times <laughs> come on now I'll find you buddy I'll find you somewhere. Not to mention that he's actually done more than the Avengers or any other hero that uh been kind of like um shown to be in the city like Fantastic Four, Doctor Strange.
That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we had... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw a mate when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May, my dad, if they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people, to fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. All right. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. to check out that infected skyscraper i saw with pete you know as wholesome as that entire sequence was it got ruined by that freaking suit it is just atrocious it's, it's freaking horrible it, it's up like i i saw the suit because it was at one point absolutely everywhere everyone was like trashing on it and normally i'm someone that you know is open-minded when it goes to like things i don't like taking other people's you know opinions and kind of like implement them on mine um you know kind of like a hive mind but no that suit I, I, everyone's right that suit is absolutely freaking trash miles come on now and the thing that makes it worse the thing that makes it absolutely worse is that this suit is not really something that insomnia wanted to make it's kind of like an advertisement for adidas because from what i saw is that you could literally buy this suit as a workout suit from adidas including the shoes i mean the shoes are all right but I don't know. I, I don't. I, I just don't like the mask. I don't like the the hair sticking out, and it's not because it would show like who you know Spider Man is. But I don't know, dude. I feel like the mask. It's a mixture of overly detailed, uh, and the mask is underly detailed. You know what I'm saying? It's like maybe if it had like the blue spider webs, maybe that could have helped the mask a bit, or even if he was wearing the hoodie, I think that would have made this suit look better. I don't like it, man. I, I like as much as I like following the the canonical, you know, story as much as possible. I don't I don't see myself wanting to wear the suit. I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. Maybe things will change my opinion. But I always thought this suit. Where is it at? Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, wow, I lost the suit. Where's the suit? Oh, right here. I always thought this suit should have been the final suit. Like since I unlocked it. I think this one looks absolutely freaking awesome, dude. Like, look at it. I think it looks way better than this one. I just don't like this one. I mean, I kind of like the arms, but... I don't know. It's not for me. It definitely is not for me, but... Uh, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we really don't have a choice, right? But, uh, alright, let's, uh, let's continue, I guess, with it. Hold on. I was going to say, this one is also a pretty cool suit. The Dark Ages suit. It's kind of like symbio symbiotic as well. You know, you could see the same details as the one that Peter has, like the fleshy uh, movements. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't even see this one. Oh, this one would honestly look perfect right next to Peter. 
story wise it wouldn't make sense but uh, all right let's go back to uh the evolved suit another issue i have is that uh he's saying a mouse original no like the whole point of his game and his original suit was because that was the mouse original like come on now <laughs> I mean, the blue definitely creates a contrast to, like, the whole dark aesthetic that's going on right now in the game. Come on. I don't waste all my abilities already. Where? There we go. How's it going, Spider-Man? I think I'm almost done clearing this nest. But Pete, we're hearing these voices. I hear them too. Keep looking for that meteorite. Don't let them get in your head. That's not Harry Potter. Wait, is it these red ones that send those uh, little uh, symbiote bombs? Up. Matter of fact, come here. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. All right. Turn into symbiotes. You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Why would you leave? We are here. You can be too. This might honestly give me the best excuse to uh, use the Dark Ages suit.
Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now. Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up. What happened? I got sucked into the hive mind. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. Honestly, freaking Haley deserves that. <laughs> like, I don't want to be mean, but I mean, she she was not gonna hear those symbiotes coming. Let, let's be honest now. Like, someone with her, oh, her her thing that where she's deaf shouldn't be in the streets when there's like a literal world falling apart, you know. <laughs> You know what? I should have done it up here with them. I think that would have worked even better. Uh, let's see. There we go. Come on, come on! They're coming out of the subway tunnel. The meteorite has to be underground. Come on, can I get in there? Venom! Please talk to me! I have to get underground. Can't leave these people behind. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe that red and black uh, symbiote is a reference to Toxin, which is the offspring of Venom and Carnage. Oh, no, wait. Is it just Carnage? I don't remember, but I think it's the offspring of one of those two. Oh yeah, there you are. Oh, it's two of them. Okay. I don't have time for this. Maybe. Hold on, as a matter of fact. Come on, Spider-Man. Almost done. Harry! Can you hear me? I'll find you, buddy. I'm coming. Oh yeah. Just stay down. It would have been so cool if uh, once we activated search mode, they gave us access to like the real anti-venom from the comics, where uh, it's more like a really uh, alternate version of venom with red eyes. I think that would have looked so freaking cool, man. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight. I was, I was trying to save you. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? And on a date? Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Come on the way. 
My man's was fighting for his life and Miles out here freaking asking a chick on a date. Hey, <laughs> what the hell? Hey buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, there we go. Peter, we are here. I'm here. Are you finally ready? Harry, I can't. <sighs> what? Oh! He's like, I know, man. I was okay. asking Haley on a date. nuts man i really want them to add like some sort of a uh, arena mode i think i mentioned this before like you're just able to battle it out with a bunch of like endless enemies i think that would be really cool like, crap. Oh. No, you know what? I don't want to waste all of my focus bars. Just in case I need to heal up. Oh, damn it. No idea why I did that. Just when I mentioned I shouldn't waste all my focus bars. Seeing a rock. No. Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. We can give that gift.
good man? Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. MJ, we all need to meet at Bad May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. All right, so there we have. All right, so there we have it. So um, let's see. Let's actually see this. I still got a bunch of uh symbiote nests that I got to take care of. Oh wow, they give you a good amount of hero points or tokens. I was thinking of maybe doing it in this episode, but I think I might do it after next episode, because I want to do them before. Uh, or maybe no, it couldn't be right. I was gonna say maybe the next episode is the ending, but I doubt it. I think. I think it's second to last, maybe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I want to complete them before I end the video. I mean, the game. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I think it was really cool. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Peace.